Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to solve the NCRT exercise questions for materials around us. I have already discussed the chapter with you in my previous video. So let us start solving the question answer. The first thing is visit your kitchen and observe how your parents have organized various edibles. So first of all, you go to your kitchen and see what edibles do you have. Then can you suggest a better sorting method? Write in your notebook. So if you sort them out, spices, okay, at one place, snacks, you have to store at one place, then uh, grains and pulses, grains and pulses at one place you can say snacks and dry fruits okay then you have oil and condiments oil and condiments like ghee and all at one place okay so this is how you can sort them and what else you can do you can put them in transparent containers transparent storage containers So that you can easily see through them. You can also, you know, you can also label them, label them. So that easy, you can easily find them. All right. Now, number two, unscramble the letters. So, and then match it with the, with their properties in column two. So first one, first one is matter. Let us first unscramble all of them. Second one, soluble. Third one, transparent. Fourth one, what is fourth one? Lusture. So matter, matter, which one? Occupies space and has mass B. Soluble, soluble mixes with water. So D, transparent objects that can be seen clearly through it. Lusture shiny surface all right now coming to question number three the containers which are used to store materials in shops and homes are usually transparent give reason for your answer so why do the containers are transparent so that it allows us to see the content in it it allows us sorry it allows us to see the content in it all right without opening them without opening them it makes it easier to identify identify and keeps things organized. Organized. Alright. Okay. Pardon me for my poor handwriting. Okay. Number four. State whether state whether the statements given below are true and false. Wood is translucent, glass is opaque. Who will tell me this? Is wood translucent? No, wood is opaque. You cannot see through wood. It is opaque in nature. Whereas glass is transparent. You can see through glass if it is not frosty glass. Okay, so the first statement is false. The second one, aluminium foil has luster while eraser does not. True, aluminium foil shines whereas an eraser does not shine. It does not have luster. Sugar dissolves in water, whereas sawdust does not. Yes, sugar dissolves in water. It is soluble in water. Sawdust does not dissolve in water as it is insoluble in water. An apple is a matter because it occupies no space and has mass. Apple is a matter that is true, but it occupies space and has mass. So, this statement is false. Number five. Okay, in number five, you see a lot of uh, materials used in making chairs, right? There are materials like wood, iron, plastic, bamboo, cement, stones, right? So you have to write for this particular property, which chair, are, which material will you use to make the chair? For example, if you want hardness, so it should not bend, it should not shake. Even if you're sitting it 
on it for a long time then what are you going to use you can use cement very hard you can use iron very hard right now you want lightweight chair which is easier to lift so plastic plastic chairs are very light easier to lift okay you can also use um, bamboo or wood okay so bam bamboo is also light the third one does not feel very cold when sitting during winter so avoid the metal ones so you can take wood wood you can take you can also take plastic both are bad conductors of heat number four can be cleaned regularly okay made to look new even after long use okay then iron metal even plastic chairs you can clean it easily okay now coming to number six you need to have containers for the following collection of waste like if you want to collect food waste then what kind of container you will use for broken glass what kind of container for waste paper what kind of container so let's see for food waste we need something uh which is you know durable and easy to clean okay then in that case we can use plastic or metal containers so for the first one we can use plastic or metal containers easy to clean you cannot use paper containers okay then the second one for broken glass so for broken glass we need something which is hard which cannot be you know easily toned or the glass particles should not tear through it okay so we can use metal or hard plastic in this case for broken glass we can use metal or any hard thick plastic which has strength okay then number three waste paper waste paper it's a paper waste you can use any lightweight plastic you can use cardboard containers okay so yeah for waste paper we can use plastic or cardboard containers all right now coming to number seven air is all around us but does not hinder us from seeing each other whereas if wood door comes in between we cannot see each other why because air is transparent you can see through the air it is transparent in nature whereas wooden door is opaque in nature you cannot see through it so the first option number eight imagine you have two mysterious materials x and y when you try to put in uh, press material x it feels rigid does not change shape easily on the other hand material y easily changes its shape when you press it now you mix both material in water x dissolves but y does not so what material can dissolve in water and hard we can we can say salt salt is hard and can dissolve in water rubber is soft and cannot dissolve in water so y is rubber all right now coming to number nine who am i identify me on the basis of given properties i have luster metal metals have luster they have shiny surface i can be easily compressed gases gases can be easily compressed i am hard and soluble in water we just discussed salt salt is hard and soluble in water you cannot see clearly through me translucent transparent you can see clearly uh, tra op opaque you cannot see through it and you cannot see clearly is translucent i have mass and volume but you cannot see me air air has both mass and volume that is why air is matter but you cannot but you cannot see air okay you can make your own who am i also now coming to question number 10 you are provided with the following materials like vinegar honey mustard water glucose wheat flow you have to make two pairs of material one material is soluble in another then again two pairs of material one material is insoluble in water so vinegar and water is a pair that is soluble in water same way if we talk about glucose 
glucose and water are soluble or glucose is soluble in water now when we talk about insoluble then oil mustard oil and water insoluble right then we have wheat flour and water they are insoluble all right so two pairs that is soluble and two pairs that is insoluble all right that's all for the day if you want extra questions from these chapters of ncrt science book that is curiosity please mention in the comment section extra questions then i will be posting extra questions soon thank you take care and bye bye